Welcome back to the masked bartender, guys. Today's mask is a llama mask. I thought it would help with my karma. I'm sorry for that. I've been stuck inside for far too long. The llama mask to me looks more like an old man mask, but that actually is quite apropos. For today's drink, we will be learning how to make an old fashioned, huh? Old man mask, old man drink. This is for you, Ted, and geriatric. First is a rocks glass. It's what we're gonna be building our cocktail in. Then we're gonna take our sugar cube in your glass or your sugar lump. Soak it with bitters, just like so. You may remember bitters from another cocktail. If not, go back and rewatch all of them. Now, this drink, some people now have bastardized it and started putting in oranges and cherries to muddle with. But actually, you're meant to do nothing of the sort. It's meant to just be sugar cube, the bitters, and then you muddle. Uh, and some people now use soda water to muddle too. Again, it's meant to be basic, strong, and simple. During the late 1880s, I believe, people started using syrups and different fruit juices and absinthe in cocktails, and there was a bunch of old codgers at bars going, I want to drink the way I like it, the way it used to be made. And then they dubbed what is now called the old fashioned, the old fashioned. Uh, basically, they thought drinks were being watered down and juiced up, and they just wanted their strong and tough and simple. One big ice cube, because the point of this drink is to be strong. The little cubes melt quicker, and then it dilutes your drink. What's the point of that? Now, back to our handy dandy old granddad. Until you guys start tipping your bartender, we're running low on stock, and this is what we've got in the way of bourbon. And you pour in, about two ounces, or, you know, if you're this kind of bartender, maybe a splash more. Start your orange peel, expressing your uh, fruit. That's just releasing the oils and getting them into your drink. Also makes you look fancy, like you know what you're doing. Let's give this a sample. Oh, it tastes like a dirty old man. We are now moving on to our shot of the day. Shot glasses, please. Thank you. All right, this shot is gonna be a shot of Honey Jack. And the reason is because John Prine passed away from complications due to COVID-19. And although he is not from Tennessee, that's where he lived at the end of his life. Maybe listen in, listen to some of his songs. Might cheer you up or make you feel really melancholy. This shot is also for everyone else who's lost family members or loved ones due to this terrible shit. Our thoughts are with you. Cheers to John. Ugh, I wouldn't have drunk Honey Jack for anyone else, that's for sure. Okay guys, my tip for a tip today is do not tell your bartender that you used to be a bartender. Pouring a bunch of Bud Lights into plastic cups in college does not a bartender make you. I bet you guys are wondering where our cats are. They said they want to have a quick word with all of you. Um, if you guys don't subscribe and watch all the episodes, it means that we don't get enough views or subscribers, and then we don't get tipped, and then I don't have enough money for any treats. So if you guys could please subscribe, that'd be real nice. Smile puts a 